Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, y'all. I'm Jim. Jim Chambers from Atlanta, the ATL. And from Coco, Columbia County, New York. And from Bard, class of 1979, 1980, 1981. Very nice to greet you all, finally, back together after the ravages that we have faced medically and geopolitically. And wouldn't you know, the first time in 40 years for this graduation, we changed the procession for the weather. So I started writing something for today, 10 days ago, just after Buffalo. It was too bleak. I was counseled by my family, make it uplifting. Then Uvalde, Texas happened. All the while as a backdrop, Ukraine burned by invasion. I listened to what I wrote on audio and said, yep, dude, you are too angry to open a commencement. So I sat until last night, compelling myself to take a gentler approach. That was hard. That is hard. My shrink in New York and my viticulture professor in California both said, enjoy the celebration of the festivities throughout this entire weekend. I accept their recommendation. Life when good is superb, precious. Ooh, there's a little pop going on. Mysterious. So let me say, however, I cannot ignore the elephant in the room of my mind on this planet today. I cannot tiptoe through the garden of reality and not say delicately and as sensitively as possible, I am pissed off. <laughs> Period. Hard stop. Climate change. Climate devastation. Roe versus Wade derailed by a Supreme Court with three justices selected by the former host of Celebrity Apprentice. January 6, the concerted effort to withdraw and eliminate centuries and decades fought and won for voting rights for all. Gun laws, or the lack thereof, all over America, most notably in my home state of Georgia. George Floyd, Tamir Rice, Ahmaud Arbery, Patrick Leoya, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Brittany Griner, the Brooklyn subway shooting, the massacres in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas, to name just a few. Not having been here in person since 2019, the year my mom turned 100, I could not come up here and not articulate these scarringly powerful, unnecessary, brutal, never-ending traumas. Just to get on solid ground in order to speak, I had to say their names. Sandra Bland, Brianna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Mariupol, Kharkiv, Kiev. I had to stop and breathe and compose myself to compose, acknowledging that others could not breathe. Like a meditation, I had to let these realities come forcefully. Like a meditation, I had to let the preciousness of breath come. I had to breathe in the preciousness of this moment today, your graduation. I had to breathe in the visceral memories of why we are here to celebrate all y'all's collective achievement 
And by all y'alls, I mean your entire genetic, spiritual, emotional, academic, support system, family group. I had to breathe in the visceral memories of Hank Aaron, Jackie Robinson, Muhammad Ali, my congressman, the epic John Lewis. My mom, who passed over two months after turning 100. Greta Thunberg, challenging the world. And Amanda Gorman, commanding the word. We, as evolutionary species, although it is sometimes hard to acknowledge, have the capacity for greatness. And today, it stands, or actually now sits before us, in your presence. It is you. It is y'all. Bardians, as we know, are a unique lot. And as thousands upon thousands of people were debating and disavowing science because they wanted the right to freely pass on COVID to whomever, wherever, all y'all, all you, were doing the right thing and agreeing with some surreal rules to protect each other. You straight up did it, and you did it magnificently. You showed the collective academic world that making the sacrifices was what you and we, the world, needed. You modeled for us, the non-students, how to do the right thing, and it was beautiful. You modeled greatness for us. Thank you. <clears throat> Yesterday and last night at the awards ceremony and dinner, I was reminded repeatedly of the diverse greatness that Bard produces within the student body, the faculty, and the entire Bard staff on all the campuses. <clears throat> I was reminded of Malia and Dumaine guiding the COVID response. I was reminded of Stephen Tremaine and BSEC. I was reminded of Max and BPI. I was reminded of Chide, Chike, Achebe, and his father, Chinua Achebe. I was reminded of Jonathan Becker and his off-the-hook team helping to rescue against gigantic, gigantic odds scores of Afghans last year, helping when the world Eurocentrically looked away Syrian refugees to matriculate to Bard Berlin, helping, alhamdulillah, to provide grace and honor to Al Quds in Palestine. I was reminded of Dario Vasquez and Harry Black and brothers at Bard. I was reminded of my entering classes, which were a few, um, which were Leon's first years here, of Naylan and Rebecca and Zena up here today. On stage, and a little bit later after us came Janet and Jane and Molly and Pia, Bard with Leon and his brilliant teams at the helms help to nurture your greatness. And that list I just listed is outright remarkable. It is Bard. It is what is produced here. I was reminded of when I handed in my third senior project and finally included the science credit that I had so tenaciously fought to avoid, and how by doing that mathematically, geometrically structured choreography, it changed my world. Go figure, I had an aha moment that there is beauty and art within math and science, which in a very circuitous way led me to farming and today can reconnected me to my hippie southern mama boy's roots. It led me back to learning and feeling the mystically sensuous soil, dirt of Mother Earth, which leads me now to the honor of welcoming all of you here to Annandale on Hudson. It is especially to the honorable 
Deb Holland. Who, from my very limited study, is deeply connected to Mother Earth and all that implies. Women's rights, water rights, air rights, earth rights, the unseen, the marginalized, and the disappeared rights, our planet's rights. It is truly an honor to have you here as the first Native American to sit at cabinet level here with us in the Hudson Valley. I might butcher this, but Guadzi da Wae Ha. Our earth is precious. This moment is precious. It is one thing to be angry, like me. It is another thing to channel it and act upon it. As Rumi writes, a vine begins to become wine when you say, Pressure is necessary to burst open. We gotta fix this world, y'all. And that's what I'm gonna say. I look forward to reading the brilliance of your senior project titles. We are in the presence of your greatness. Go to it, be creative, be relentless. Don't take no for an answer. Let it rip, Bardians. And by all means, you have all earned the right to throw down hard, but safely, I'm at it. I might add, tonight and this weekend and the rest of your lives. Congratulations, and with that, I give you the force of nature we know as President Leon Botstein. Go Raptors! <laughs>